Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode was sent in by Chris and Athena from Hacienda Heights, California. They sent in an excellent 21 question random knowledge trivia quiz. There's going to be 20 questions up front and then at the end of this episode there's a question 21 tiebreaker if you need to stick around for that. I've seen these questions. You guys are going to like them. Let's get started. Good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. From the French for to muzzle, what is the name of the wire cage that fits over the cork on a bottle of champagne, sparkling wine, or beer that prevents the cork from emerging under the pressure of the carbonated contents? What is the name of that wire cage? From the French for to muzzle, it is a mousselet. Question number two. Roughly translated as place of fright, what is the name of the underworld in Maya mythology ruled by the Maya death gods that is described in the Popol Vuh as a court below the surface of the earth? The answer is Shibalba. Question number three. With at least 25 major outbreaks taking place in the Americas during the 18th and 19th centuries, what is the colorful name of the disease that is transmitted by infected mosquitoes with common symptoms being fever, muscle pain with prominent backache, headache, loss of appetite, and nausea? The answer is yellow fever. Question number four. With the goal of recruiting female workers for the defense industries between 1940 and 1945, as widespread male enlistment left gaping holes in the industrial labor force, what is the nickname of the woman that became one of the most iconic images of World War II? You can picture her flexing on the posters, Rosie the Riveter. Question number five. This temple complex in Cambodia was built in the 12th century by King Servayarman II. What is the name of this vast temple complex that comprises more than a thousand buildings and is one of the great cultural wonders of the world? The answer is Angkor Wat. Question number six. What word works in all three of the following? Any of the thin lines or beams of light that appear to come from a bright source, any of the bony spines supporting the fin membrane of a fish, and any straight line that extends from a point. One word works for all three definitions. The answer is a ray. Question number seven. What is the name of the military officer whose duty is to provide provisions, storage, clothing, fuel, stationery, and transportation for a regiment or other body of troops and to superintend the supplies? They also provide quarter for the troops. The answer is the quartermaster. Question number eight. Specifically prominent in Gothic architecture, what are these carved figures with a sprout that is designed to convey water from a roof and away from the side of a building, thereby preventing it from running down masonry walls and eroding the mortar between? What is the name for those downspouts in Gothic architecture? The 
the answer is gargoyles. Question number nine, traditionally sold at fairs in Portugal, what is the name of this donut in the form of a roll made of flour, yeast, baking soda, salt, sugar, cinnamon, and water that is fried in oil and is preferred to be consumed while hot so that the crunchy surface does not harden? I don't think this food has a shorter name and if it did, I don't think you'd want to eat it. The answer is a fartura. Question number 10. Invented in the 1500s and comprised of a small convex lens held nearest to the eye and a larger flat lens at the opposite end of a short metal tube, what is the name of these items that were primarily used for studying insects and other small life forms? Hence the name. That little tube was known as a flea glass. Question number 11. What is the name of the 1938 film adaptation of George Bernard Shaw's 1913 play Pygmalion about a cockney flower girl named Eliza Doolittle that takes speech lessons from Professor Henry Higgins, a phonetician, so that she may pass as a cultured member of high society? Pygmalion was remade into the musical My Fair Lady. Question number 12. Spanning an area of approximately 5,430,000 square miles, mostly covered by sea ice throughout the year and known as one of the coldest oceans, what is the name of the smallest and shallowest of the world's five major oceans? The answer is the Arctic Ocean. All right, question 13 is for all of you true crime fans in the audience. Situated in the midline of the neck anteriorly at the base of the mandible and posteriorly at the fourth cervical vertebrae, what is the name of the small U-shaped solitary bone that is often evidence of strangulation when broken? That is the hyoid bone. And if you got that right, you're watching too much Netflix. Question number 14. The city of Niza registered this fictional character as an actual resident in 2003. What is the name of this superhero created by Osamu Tezuka that was introduced in the 1951 Captain Adam manga and has appeared in several animated television shows and feature film adaptations? The answer is Astro Boy. Question number 15. This part of the open ocean extends from a depth of 1,000 to 4,000 meters below the ocean surface. What is the name of this zone between the mesopelagic above and the abyssopelagic below that is also known as the midnight zone because of its lack of sunlight? Just above the abyss is the bathypelagic zone. Question number 16. Roald Dahl, the well-known writer of Matilda and the film script for Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, enlisted in the Royal Air Force when World War II broke out. What was the title of his first book, written for Walt Disney in 1943, which was about his RAF adventures? The title of that book was called The Gremlins. Question number 17. What is the name of the rite of passage in Australian Aboriginal society during which males undergo a journey during adolescence 
typically ages 10 to 16, and live in the wilderness for a period as long as six months to make the spiritual and traditional transition to manhood. That rite of passage is known as a walkabout. Question number 18. Discovered in 1870 by the Washburn Expedition, what is the name of the geyser located in Yellowstone National Park, named for its frequent and somewhat predictable eruptions with an average height of 130 to 140 feet? Because the eruptions were somewhat predictable, they called it Old Faithful. Question number 19. Invented by Norman Joseph Woodland and Bernard Silver and patented in the U.S. in 1952, what is the name of the invention based on Morse code that is a method of representing data in a visual, machine-readable form and now appears on just about every product in the supermarket? That form we're looking for is a barcode. Question number 20. Annie Moore, a 15-year-old girl from Ireland, was the first person processed after disembarking from the SS Nevada on its opening day on January 1st, 1892. What is the name of this place that welcomed over 12 million immigrants from 1892 to 1954? The place that we're looking for is Ellis Island. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia and a big thanks to Chris and Athena from Hacienda Heights, California for sending in an excellent quiz. This quiz really was just about perfect. It had some hard ones, it had some easy ones, it had words that I couldn't pronounce. It had questions that we've never had on the channel before. And all of them were super interesting. I mean, these were, these were really good questions. Great job, Chris and Athena. Thank you. And I hope that you enjoy your road trip kit. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Follow along. We have new quizzes every single day. And currently, we're posting quizzes submitted by viewers like you. So follow along. Here's question 21. The tiebreaker for today. Reservoir Dogs is a film that takes place in the aftermath of a jewelry heist gone wrong and is known for criminals who are all using color-based pseudonyms. This film most notably marked the debut of Quentin Tarantino as a director and screenwriter. What year was this movie released? The answer is 1992. Whichever player got closest to 1992 is going to win the point. If this question was your tiebreaker, if it was all knotted up before this and somebody got, well, whichever person got closest to 1992, they're going to get the point and they're going to get the win. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. And thank you again to Chris and Athena. Have a good night. See you tomorrow for episode number... 1310 and day number 291 on the 365 day trivia road trip. See you tomorrow.